Hello and welcome back. I'm going to be carving a walking stick here with a Swiss knife they use in bushcraft. More on Sweden. Very sharp knife. I am using a glove with stainless steel in it to uh, prevent me from cutting myself. I did sketch. I'm doing a snake here on this stick. And I will start doing uh, cutting. Which this is basswood. I'm doing his head first. And I don't know how readily you can get basswood around the world, but uh, here in the United States it's pretty easy to get. So I'm doing his head first and then I will start carving down the stick um, and have an raised area for his body. I'm going to have his head pointing out. difficult to carve and uh, show it on the video at the same time. I am outside today. It's a nice day to be carving, but here you can see as well as uh, on my other knives, this um, holding it with your thumb back here and moving it like you're doing like a scissors cut is a very good way to take off see it's a very fast way to remove the wood and my fingers are not in the way and I want to get the end kind of pointy there like a snake's head and I'll paint it later uh, it is a little bit difficult cutting with the, this knife but it's not too bad just be safe. If you don't have a glove, I know a lot. I see a lot of you bushcrafters using a knife. Uh, just be safe. I don't know where that blade goes. Um, there is another way to do this cut. Uh, that might be a little bit safer, but and up close to you. Be careful when you're bringing the knife back to you. And you have control and guide it with your thumb is the best way. Um, I'm using this glove because I did cut my finger, but it wasn't because I was carving. It was because I was, I was carving. I was cu carving the ham that we were eating. So, that was a different knife. But, definitely be safe when you're using a very sharp blade like this. This blade is high carbon steel. Trying to get the shape of the head here. So I see I got a problem right here in the end. A little bit of a crack on the wood. So I might have to. When you run into that carving on sticks, you might have to change the way that you're carving because of the defect or use the defect however you want. Trying to get his head more of like a V-shaped. Like right here, it's kind of rough, so I'm going to use that as part of the back of his head. Carve down on that. It's always nice to have a stick when you're out in the woods, in case you do see a snake. Not to kill it, but just push it out of your way. time at all it's taking shape hopefully I'm getting this on the video all right but 
back and forth. I want to get his head to where I want. You can do light, very light cuts. You don't have to take off a lot. This does work out nice for that. I like that. What? If you're around the campfire, you're making a, a stick. Good thing to use. Nice thing to do. You can see. This basswood is extremely soft. I didn't realize it was going to have a different color in the center, though. Usually it's all clear, but it's extremely soft. Then on the bottom, I want to have his uh, the bottom side kind of flat here on his head. stick. I've seen some old folk art sticks that way and it's kind of where I got my design but actually making it up as I go here. And back and forth. And this knife is extremely sharp. I got it from England off of eBay and I really like it. It's very nice. But it just shows you you don't have to have a regular carving knife. I can use just uh, the knife that you have. The main thing is be very safe. Okay. Uh, that's it for now. Clean this up a little bit, do a little bit more carving, and show you how to do the curve on down the, the stick on a later video. Thanks, have a nice day.